Ah, stretch it out. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the coffee run with old Johnny. Just, just in from the garage, warming up the freaking hands. It's so cold, man. It's so cold. Um, all right, we got a quick show today because I have to get to work. I have an actual job and I got to get the stuff done here. So probably stop at about 40 minutes past the hour. So let's get right into all the things here. Okay, so first of all, oh, not that. Um, that screen, but you want to see. All right. <coughs> Reminder, um, Trooper on the Table will return, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Um, I'm trying to figure out who I'm going to have on. A um, couple people I'm talking to, again, just trying to get schedules arranged for that. Um, I'll let you know next week. Joe from Craft Master Journey is building a table for Craft for the Cure. He's going to build a table to donate, a throwing station. Um, he's a craftsman, as you know. He built his own table for his, for his channel. And he's doing something with chips. So if you've got um, custom-made chips, send them off to Joe. Contact him through his channel or... On our Discord, you can get to him from there as well. Um, so Joe from Craft Master Journey, again, needs chips to make that happen, okay? Um, I will review with you in a minute the Daily Paycheck play, and then we're going to jump into another Bubble Craps thing uh, this week. And again, this week, and I'm going to have to say this, close the room. I'm going to say this really slow so everybody understands, okay? I'm not out here this week trying to create a new strategy. I'm not out here this week trying to teach you anything. I'm out here this week just farting around with dollar bets because I'm burnt out. Quite frankly, I'm burnt. I've had a really rough couple of weeks with work, with the channel, with a lot of things, and I'm just like, fuck it, I don't want to think anymore. I just I want to go out in the garage in the morning and just sit in a cross bet and throw. In here, I'm just going to run some, some wacky bubble crap stuff and just have a good time. I'm not looking to teach you anything or say, this is the way to go make money with this awesome new strategy. I'm just farting around with stuff people send me. So that's all I'm doing here. Um, don't take this too seriously this week. And, I, and I, I said it on Monday, maybe not clearly enough. I'm not taking this week very seriously. I'm just having some fun, doing some craftsy. Okay, and that's that's that. Now today we're gonna do a thing called the six, the crappy six, seven, eight, which I know Jacob's in there saying, hey, about naming of strategies. Um, I'm only calling that, and you'll see why I call it that. Um, I don't think Crappy the Crap, this is from, it'll be a thing from Larry Casper from Crappy the Craftsman that he did a couple of months ago. And I thought it was fun. I tried it out um, on the big table, but you'll see why I didn't like it at the at the big numbers. But um, it is literally a six, seven, and eight bet. It's all that it is. It's the literal six, seven, eight. You'll, you'll, you'll actually crack up when you see it. I didn't know what else to, what else to, to call it because I wanted to have the Crappy's name in it because it really is his, his thing. I'm not like stealing his stuff. I just wanted to run it. So... There's that. All right, here we go. Let's talk about the paycheck a little bit. Um, I'm doing vanilla craps. Um, and it's really just um, the mindset this coming month is going to be to not think so much, right? Again, I did it a couple months back. I just need, need like a mental health break. And um, so the idea here is not to think. I don't want to go out there with a strategy that's got to do um, these weird special conditions to work, right? This is just going across, having a pass line bet parlaying a pass line win, getting my three hits in the box, and either way, getting out of dodge, right? It's just getting in and getting out kind of a thing. Um, if you don't get in and out, if you lose, like we did today in the third shooter, you got to play it a little bit extra. you got to play it twice to kind of come through it or leave the across bets up for another couple hits. It's not like um, any kind of a complicated strategy. It's just put them out there, roll the dice. Today's your day or it's not. And that's really, again, as simple as that thing is, um, there's not a lot of thought or math behind it other than the fact that I know that if either the pass line or the box does its thing, either one of those can be a, a paycheck for us. And that's really it. I wanted to keep it as simple as I possibly could because, like I said, I got a ton going on over here. And um, this bald head of mine is pretty full right now. So I just need to kind of get get through some easy stuff. And that's why that strategy is so damn simple. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to overcomplicate it with a bunch of moves. Um, I'm not going to stress out about you know, having to win 20 bets to make my $1,000. I'm gonna make bigger size bets. We're gonna be boom, boom, and we're gonna run. Today we were two and one. Yesterday we were 0 and one. Day before that, we were three and oh. Like it's gonna be about a 60% or so clip winner. I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna run through the month and see what happens. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna stress and put too much, too much energy into it, okay? So here we go. Let's play the crappy six, seven, eight. I'm going to review with you what we did. So Monday, I did this thing called the skill slash. This is a skill unlock dial and sent me this over text. Will you please try this? So I, I, we did it. 
Um, it's basically 42 hours across, one hit, and down to eight to 12 hours across. Simple strategy, right? Really, really simple strategy. Um, we had fun, made some money. Yesterday, I did my marching soldiers thing, right? Which we had the four, five, nine, and 10, and we hit them and we kind of moved them across. And just, you know, again, it's a silly strategy. It's a fun way to put 20 bucks out there, right? And that's, again, these things with bubble craps, it's just like, again, non-thinker plays. Just let's go out there and have some freaking fun, right? If you're gonna play stadium crafts with a bunch of people in those terminals and somebody shooting in the middle, and you wanna throw 20 bucks out there, this marching pearly thing, it's easy, it's fun, it's, you can root and cheer and have all the things. Today I wanna run one called the Crappy 678. Okay, and here's what it is. We, when you can do it at a couple of numbers here, right? One is gonna be, well, I'll show you here, I can also do it at 10 and 12, okay? Um, you're gonna place the six for 12 bucks, which wins 14. You can, at the same time, lay the eight for 18 bucks, which pays 15. If either of those bets wins, whatever one wins first, it doesn't matter. They both come down, you go $8 across or $12 across. You take your win and go across. That's all that it is. It's literally six and eight. The six wins or the seven wins, and that's it. You're playing bets on the six and eight. You're looking for a seven. Either way, they come down, you go across, you play it out. That's it. That's the whole strategy. There's nothing to it. I did try this. He did it at 120 on the eight. Or, or he did 180 on the, on the lay eight and 120 on the six. And you know, in the end of that, he I think he went like 96 across or something. I'm like, it's too much money, right? Too much money to go out there like that. But on bubble crafts, what the hell, right? 30 bucks at this level, or you can go 12 and 10. I'm gonna go 12 and 10 today on my bubble crafts and just play it thousands across. And that's it. This is just a literal fun play. And again, it's crappies, crappy the craps man's he did this about a month ago or so, and I thought this might be a fun thing to try on bubble crap. So here it is. This is the crappy the craps man six seven eight on bubble crafts. I'm going to turn the bubble crafts machine on. Um, we're going to make a new table here, so I'll make a new group table. Um, it's going to be called bubble craps crappy six seven eight. That's the name of my table. Um, it's going to be a bubble machine, twenty dollar minimum bet. And I think that's it, right? We'll just do everything will be normal, normal bubble crap stuff. The timer, let's see the rolling, 10 second timer, RNG, create. There it is. Um, if you wanna play along with me, here is the table code. There it is, I'll put it in chat. This is gonna be the crapsy code. It's B9W9N2. So I put it in chat for you there. Go have fun. There it is. Um, and you can do whatever you want to here, obviously, right? The crappy play, crappy the craps man. Again, we're working all the time. So we're gonna lay the eight for 12 bucks. We're gonna place the six for 10, or I could do the six for 12 and the eight for 18. Either way, it's, it ends up being about the same thing. We can do it like this. If you felt like it, you can grab a dollar to the heart eight. Okay, nothing wrong with that. If that way, if the heart eight comes, you don't get your ass totally kicked. It covers half your money. And who cares? Here we go. You ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens here. Why is my uh, screen kind of cut off there? Is that a little better? There we go. I got to fix the. Uh, I got to fix the viewer over here. So give me a second to do this. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna change, I gotta, I'm just gonna slide this around a little bit here so you can all see the full crappy screen. There we go. All right, what was, what happened here? We rolled something, a seven rolled. Okay, that's perfection. The seven rolls, um, and that means, let's block that. That means we got paid on the eight, right? Um, we lost the six, we got paid on the eight. Um, I think the eight's gotta be a little more than that. I think we have to, I think if I remember his strategy, we gotta double the six, right? Yeah, we do. Six has to be 12. My, this is my, my fault. That's gotta be 12 bucks. Um, the eight's gotta be double that. It's gotta be 36. 35, $36 because, uh, let's see, that would pay enough to cover the six plus go. Okay, my bad, my bad. I had them, I had them wrong. Um, this has gotta be, Double, my, my bad. I can't change the words now, so let's go. 
We got a six. Cool. All right, that pays 14 bucks. We'll take everything down. Let's go. All bets down, and we're going to go $2 across. Boom, boom. Just like so, right? That 15 bucks pays for that. We, we can actually afford to go $3 across, right? And get $12 out there, and we're going to be we're going to be up in profit. All right? Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Let's roll it out. Um, why is Crapsy wrong? Crapsy should show me at, there's a 10. It feels like that's wrong. We won 15 bucks. My rack should have more than five hours in it. It doesn't matter. Um, all right, we hit the 10. That's great. I'm going to take the 10 down and go to six hours with it. We're gonna, I'm, I'm going to do a flip of the four and 10, right? It's going to change the bet for the win. The five and nine, we'll, we'll do a little hammer press and the six and eight, we're just going to do a sister press. Nice and simple right? Doesn't matter, right? The whole point of this thing was to get out, right? The whole point of this thing was to get out of the hand quick. So the six or the seven rolls, you get to play. And that's essentially it. So uh, let's see. I'm looking at the crowd. Oh, by the way, um, if you want to uh, talk, I'm I, again, this is such an easy little strategy here. Um, just drop PCs or cues in the chat so I can see you and then we can just chat it out. Otherwise, I'm going to try and monitor chat as we go and just kind of talk and Talk and roll and who cares? What happened there? We had another 10 hit. Look at that, the 10 hits again. That's great. Um, I'm gonna take the six down and go to 10. It's gonna keep taking the win to the bet and taking the bet back to the rack and that's gonna be that. So there we go. Um, yeah, I know Jen, but I won 15 bucks and I had $12 out there. It should have said my rack had 503, not 497. That was, it was, I thought it was, I think it was, it was the rack count was three bucks off. Because I had 115, I played 12. I should have been up by three in the rack. Um, the total was right, but the rack count was wrong. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to wind that back and send Chuck a screenshot because that was incorrect. All right, the nine hits for four bucks. Let's half press the nine. We're going to make it look like five. Boom, boom, a little bit of a collect, and there we go. It looks okay to you now. Yeah, the first thing, I run, I won the 125, I won the $14, right? That's 15.25, and then I put $12 across, and it showed my rack as having 497. My rack should have had 503. So that wasn't, that wasn't, there was something wrong there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna send Chuck a screenshot because I think that was incorrect. Now it looks like it's okay now, from what I can tell, but. Something, something weird. All right, there's the six. Pays 350. We're gonna go ahead and press both the six and eight. Again, I sister press those two when they hit. I'll do that once the once the uh, once the um, what do you call it? Once the, the point gets established. Here we go. Let's go. Slam, slam. How you doing, man? Good to see you here. It's a waste of your time. Crafts is a total waste of time. It is. I see there's talk about John Patrick out there. Um, he's not doing well, uh, from what I understand. Garrison, last I talked to Garrison, John was in, he was in uh, in some some pretty intense care. <laughs> so he, he's been struggling a little, a little bit. There's my seven out, we're done. Oh no, we're coming out still. We're still coming out. Cool, that's actually perfect. Good time for the seven. Uh, but yeah, he was struggling. Um, he's like 93 or something like that, so. Um, and I say this a lot. Um, I love the John Patrick books. I love the Grafstein books. Um, I just read a book. I forget the guy's the author's name now. Um, but the way those guys wrote is just so cool. Another come out winner. Um, they have a different way of writing. Like today we write more, more academically for the most part. And we write a little more like teachers. They wrote like your friend. They wrote like they were sitting with you at the kitchen table yelling at you. And those books have that kind of voice to them, like you're getting yelled at. I think it's, it's actually really enjoyable. Um, yeah. Come on now. There's an eight. We got a point finally. Okay. Now remember, I won on the six in that last throw. So we're going to, we're going to, we won uh, 350. So I'm going to give both the six and the eight a buck or two bucks each. We'll, we'll use the whole 350, press them both. 
then after they hit, we'll collect. So they'll be on a, on a press collect method for both of them together. The other ones are gonna be on press collect as they go. He's not in hospice, but he does have a full-time, he has a full-time nurse with him who's taking care of him. He's just, you know, I think he had uh, some something with his throat going on. He's just, you know, he, again, God bless you. He lived 90 something years old. It's awesome, right? Um, meanwhile, we're up 40 bucks, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I think Wager, when you read when you read the, I'm not sure you're talking about, about Patrick's book, but those books, again, we all, I hate to say it like this, this is gonna sound bad, this is midnight. We all kind of know it all, right? I hate to say we know it all, but we know it all. We've read all the books, we know all the things. You're not gonna get something new for the most part out of most of these books. Um, what I read them for and I enjoy is the stories. Like I like the stories. I like, they always sprinkle it in. Like I knew a guy named blah, 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 who did this and there's the way he played. And a lot of the, a lot of the strategy talk that you see in these books comes from that. I get a ton of, a ton of enjoyment out of just reading the stories and hearing how, you know, hearing that stuff is where I, I, I love it. So, all right, there's a five. Sweet, let's press that five up to five bucks. And before you know it here, we went from $12 across to $33 across and we've pocketed 12 bucks. So um, I'm okay with all that. That's pretty cool, right? Um, the, yeah, it, it is. I, I, I screwed that up, Dan. I, I, I did it for real. There was a, a five hit. Um, I did, I, I fixed it in when I played it. It should be twice as much. It should be two to one. Um, I, because you want to have the lay eight pay for the bets that should pay either one of those should pay for the bet. So you gotta, gotta double it up. Uh, what happened there? We hit a five for seven bucks. Let's use half of that. Wait, the five looked like $8. Um, take four to the rack, put $8 out or three bucks out there. And let's just keep on half pressing the five and nine. There's an 11 yo. And again, bubble craps, right? Who cares? But you could, you know, this is a good time if you're thinking about it, regress, go back down to $12 across. If you go down to $12 across, you'll put 24 bucks in your rack, right? So um, easily right now, if I go 12 bucks across, that would pull uh, $22 out of the game into my rack that would go. My rack would then have $538 in it. That's not a bad little profit on a bubble crafts machine, frankly. We're gonna keep on playing it out, but yeah, let's do it. Does she, does she write a book, David? I'm not sure. Oh, you're writing a book. You're writing a book, Dave, uh, Wager? That's cool. Um, I thought you were reading a book. That's cool. I've been writing a book too on, on the side. I've got a book that I'm in the middle of writing. Um, same thing. It's, it's less more, it's more about like what I've done in the last few months of, of shows, right? Not about craps play specifically, but about mindset. Mine's more, more the mental side of gambling than the physical side of gambling. So that's cool. I'm, I'm, that's cool. You're writing a book. I didn't, I didn't know that. Um, I don't think Demora wrote a book, but it'd be kind of cool to hear that story. Wouldn't it? Um, what just happened? We rolled at 11 out of three. So nothing happened. That's great. We should probably take a roll off. <laughs> Duracell, you're funny. Um, I, but again, I would, ah, there's the seven. Um, I'd love to hear, like I said, more story, more storytelling. Here we go. We are up 16 bucks. Let's go back out again. Here, let's, let's do the move. Um, we're going to go with a $12 six. Well, I don't know why I did it that way. And we'll do a $36 eight, lay eight, 35, 36. Okay. Um, so that'll win us 30. Minus 12, so a little bit of extra juice to play an across bet with. Okay, well, if you want to, we'll do a couple of bucks on the hard eight. Just a couple, not, not to get the whole thing back, but just enough to make that eight hurt a little bit less. Here we go, give me a six. Seven out, okay, that's cool. So we lose the 12, we win the 28. Our net is $14. We can relax. We can let the come out roll happen and we can take that 14 bucks and go $12 across. That's the crappy six, seven, eight. It's a come out move. Not a come out move. You play that until you get one of those two to win for you. And then you rock 
the box after that. So it's just basically a way to pay for the box. It's all, it, it's kind of a regression sort of system. So points nine, we will go $12 across, 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 and now we can't lose. We're at 512 in the rack. We have 530 total bankroll. And that's, that's where we are. Here we go. Let's see if we can't make the box do something for us. Yeah, see, there's something wrong here. If you look at the at the board, let's see, the seven come out wins fourteen fifty. We were see we were up sixteen bucks before. This is where I'm I'm saying there's something wrong with with crap. See, we were up before this roll. I believe will it show us where we were on this come out after that roll right there. We were we lost all this. Lost $36, but it doesn't show me the bankroll. Darn it. We were up 16 bucks at that point, right? We had, we had $16 extra in the rack. We were at 516. Then we had to come out seven where I lost 12 and netted 1450, right? So I should have been at 530 in the rack, net 30 bucks, right? Then I go $12 across. Why am I at 512? Like that number's wrong. That number, that number should be more than 516. I had 516, I won 14, I went out for 12. This is wrong. There's something wrong with the rack count. So I'm not sure what it is. Unless I'm just a dumbass and I, and I can't do basic math. We were at 516, I won 14, I went out for 12. I shouldn't be less than I started with. I should be more than I started with. So there's something wrong with the math there, I think, unless I'm just not paying attention, I don't know. Very odd. Okay, there's the five. We're gonna take the five to seven bucks, or we'll take it to five bucks. Two five, right? Is that right? Am I am I wrong, or is that just the um, the hard? It was two bucks, but even so, I shouldn't be down. I put two bucks on. I shouldn't be down. I shouldn't be down seven dollars. That seems wrong, right? Okay, I lost fourteen, but I won fourteen. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be less. No, no, no. I'm not, Jen. My rack would have had, if I was at 516 and I won 14, and here's my net, the seven, I won a net of 1450. See that right there? I don't know if you see my mouse. I won 1450. I was at 516. I won 1450, which is 530. I go out for $12. I should not be at 512. Like that, I feel like there's something, I know it doesn't include bets on the table, it's what came out of the rack. There's something wrong. There's definitely something wrong. I mean, like I said, I went from five, I don't know how you go from the rack being at 512, winning 14, and then putting $12 out and being below where you started. There's something, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a mistake in there somewhere. I know at the felt, you're not here, I guess you're not hearing me. Um, oh, that's right, thank you, because I am a dumbass, there's the problem. I'm, a tw I'm an 18, not 12, thank you. See, that's the answer. Um, that's the answer. It was only me. It was, I was, I thought I was 12. See, I'm keeping 12 in my head. I was 18 across. Thank you, Lee. That's my problem. Jeez. There it is. So you're, everybody's right. John's wrong. It's morning time and I'm, I'm a dumbass. It's okay. Um, I didn't bet my four. I didn't bet my four. Four's got to go to five bucks, six bucks. There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about the rant. Um, I thought I was 12 across, not 18 across. That's my, that's where, that's why I went down. I should be at 12 across. That's, it's me just making the bets wrong. So I'm just, I'm just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh my God. Yeah, it is. It is. It's always me. It's always me, Jen. I'm always the one that's wrong. Okay. The eight pays 350. Let's make the eight look like five and the six look like five. Okay. I don't know why I had in my head that I was doing, because I know why, because my screen says 12 across, even though I did 18. I, I actually screwed up my bets. So. Wow. Oh, the five hits. Yay. All right. That pays seven. Let's go up by about half of that. We'll up it by four. One, two, three, four dollars. And let's go. Let's go. A six. That's a collect, right? We press them both. Now we collect them. Sweet. 
point is nine still. What's in the rack now? 525? We're up 60 bucks. Wow. We up 60 bucks. I'm so cute, we'll keep it. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. My class might disagree with my class is my seven. My 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 poor my my, my my poor coders are having a rough time with me right now. They are they are tough. They're having a roughie. Here we go. Let's come on out. We are up $26. This time I'll do it right. Um, let's lay the eight for uh, $36. We'll place the 12 for six for 12 bucks. Um, I can actually lock the six and eight in, which is cool. All right, here we go. Coming out. Everything's working. Let's pay for these bets. Let's get our across bet. I'll do it right this time. We'll do 12 bucks across this time. There's a 10. Um, I, I placed no bets. Now, both last times the come out worked, right? We're going to do nothing until one of these bets resolves. And we'll let them, we'll let them, we'll let them happen. We'll see, we'll see what roll, what rolls here. Come on. Give me a six. Give me that six. Hey, there it is. Ask for it and you shall receive. Now we got a six. The point is 10. That pays 14. Everything comes down. Everything come down. Booyah. We're up 540 and change. We're going to go $12 across this time. $12 across. Get our bets right. We're locked in at 528. Let's be a little more aggressive this, this round. A little more aggressive with the wins this time. Because I'm going to be out of time here. There's a four, baby. Awesome sauce. All right, let's make the four. This time, I'll make it look like three. And I'll take the other three bucks that I won and grab some hard ways with it. So I'm going to put the whole four out there this time, not just the one. I'd buy your book, Slam. 100%. What do we got here? An eight hard. All right. Look at that. You know what we're doing with the eight, right? Um, we won uh, three bucks up here. We're going to press the six and eight by a dollar each. Sister press there. And the hard eight is going to 10. We're going to parlay it. We're going to hit the, the hard way parlay down there. Here we go. There's a five. Okay, that's cool. That pays three bucks, essentially. So I'll just go by one. There we go. And I know I'm rolling crapsy fast here, but if you're betting with me, you got to get your bets in quick. You're going to get that 10-second timer, and that's it. So here we go. Five. Booyah! <laughs> pays four bucks. Let's make it look like five. There we go. What's in the rack now? Five thirty-three. Take a thirty-three dollar profit on bubble craps. Betting dollars, betting one dollar at a freaking time, all day long. Hey, hard eight. Woo! Pays ninety bucks. You know what's gonna happen, right? You know what's gonna happen. We're gonna break the bubble craps machine. We're gonna go. We're gonna parlay the whole thing. Can I get another hard eight, folks? Let's freaking go, huh? Let's do it. Full D-Gen on the hard eight. Come on, baby. Let's go. Stupid yo. Come on, Chiro. The puppet master up there. Give me a hard eight. Let's celebrate something, huh? Let's go crazy on a morning show. Why not? Come on. Ah, come on. By the way, um, a, a complete aside for everybody. Who's, is anybody still here with 20, 20 people watching? I had a conversation um, yesterday with Chris from Sideshow Gamble. Um, we, we talk relatively frequently, but I haven't talked to him in a long time. Um, and he wanted me to pass along. He's doing really good. Um, he misses everybody. He is, oh, we got a hard four. Um, he's out and about. 
with his with his uh, he's you know, he's in the military, obviously, so he can't disclose everything. But he's doing good. He's doing really good. Um, just wanted me to pass along. He's doing fine. He says hi and all that kind of stuff. So there you go. Um, let's make the the hard way on the four look like ten also, since we just hit a hard four. And let's also make the four look like six dollars. We'll we'll get the press over there. I think we had the eight. We collected on the eight. We're all set, man. We got the hard eight rocking. The hard four is rocking. The box is looking good. I got thirty-seven dollars in profit, no matter what happens. Let's freaking go. Yes, Brian, we're doing it, baby. We're doing the hard way parlay. Give me a hard eight. Come on. Hard six will work. Man, all our money's on the hard ways right here. We are going to be rocking this thing. Let's go. Six and eight go up a buck each. Hard six, we win it. It goes to $10. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Chiro. Make it happen for me up there, huh? Make it happen. Let's go. Come on, lard ass. Do it. Do it. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Look at freaking that. Oh my God. We absolutely freaking pulled it off. Chiro, I love you. Oh my God, that totally worked. How awesome is that? Let's take all the, let's take those down. We're gonna just regress the hard ways now. I'm gonna make them all look like a quarter. We hit the hundred bucks to spread out the love. We got $1,400 in the rack. So we basically won a grand right there. Oh my God, how awesome is that? <laughs> and the eight paid, and so we collect on the eight. We're just playing the box like normal, right? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. There's a hard 10. Woohoo! All right, the hard 10 is gonna go to 100 bucks after the come out roll. <clears throat> I've only got about six minutes left. There's a six, easy six. That's the point. Um, the 10 in the box has to get pressed. I mean, I'm, I know it's like silly to do this, but we're going to play the box the way you play the box, right? There it goes to $6. The hard 10, because it won, boom, 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 up to 100 bucks. What the hell, baby? We got 1554 in the rack. We've, we've locked in a $1,000 profit. Mm. Come on. There's a... Freaking yo, Chiro's laughing at me. Come on, do it again, dude. Do it again, dude. I'm channeling you today. Come on, everybody, positive vibes. Everybody in, in the chat, let's, just, let's get it. 10, 10, 10, 10. Get the chant going. Get the chant going. Me, all the five, five hard tens right now. Let's go. Come on. Ah, easy six, boring, boring, pays the line. So the six and eight will now get pressed up because they got collected on last time. And uh, here we go, we're coming out. We are coming out. Get your bets in for the come out and off we go. <clears throat> uh, David, is that 115 total? 115 total, 115 each. There's a yo 11 on the come out. Come on, let's get that. I'm gonna rock that hard 10. Can you imagine if we get two hard rate parlays to pay in the same session? How insane would that be, huh? Here we go. Hard eight. We're not all, we're not working. It's a come out. But that's that's four hard eights for the shooter. Okay. Um, hard six will go back out for a quarter. The actual six and eight, they get pressed up to six bucks because they won last time. And here we go. Whew. Let's go, baby. Give me something special. Ah, there's the 
there's the seven. That's a bummer. But you know what? I'll take a $1,300 profit any day of the week. Any day, or $1,000 or $1, profit any day of the week. We start with 500. We're out of here with uh, with 1,030 in profit. And freaking A, man, that was fun. That was way too much fun. Um, yeah, uh, I got to change the screen. It should be 30, 36 and, and, and 12, not, not uh, 12 and 18. Anyway, that's the crappy six, seven, eight. It's basically lay the eight, place the six, wait for something to happen. And then whatever happens, you're across. And that's, that's the whole thing. And it goes across, you, pl you, you pray for a monster roll. We had two monster rolls back to back and we made money <clears throat> on bubble craps today. Um, that was fun. That was a fun one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, you uh, had a good time there talking in chat and, uh, and all that. But I got to go to work. I have an actual job that I got to get ready for. So um, I'm going to end the show right here. Um, I don't have time really to go through any more of our normal kind of Q&A type of stuff. But, uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. I'll give, give you my, my, my final thoughts here. Hold on one second. Let me go down to this screen and just tell you my final thoughts. My final thoughts for today are... Don't take me too seriously sometimes, right? I'm very serious, right? You know me, right? I'm like the note taker. I'm doing my math. I got all the, you know, mental ways to play and all that kind of shit. Sometimes I just, if I had it, I'd let my hair down and I just don't care, right? This week, I do not care, right? So I, and there was, I know, just don't take what I'm doing here too seriously. I'm just having fun. Um, would I play this way on a real table? Probably not, right? This is not like my way of playing, um, but it's fun. It's an easy way to get out on a bubble craps. I would not go 360, lay eight, and 120, play six. I wouldn't do it on a real table, right? On a bubble craps, 36 and 12, why, why, why not, right? It, it's just a fun way to do it. And again, don't take it too seriously. Uh, don't take the naming of things too seriously. Don't, don't take any of it too seriously. I'm just having a good time this week. Try not to think too much. I just want to just kind of just relax. Um, we'll get back to some more luxury type stuff here in, in, in the coming weeks. I've got a lot of math to talk about. I've got a lot of a lot of things I want to get into and get more deep again. But um, for mental health sake and for burnout sake, I'm just goofing around. So um, hopefully this is a fun week and, and, and in the garage and in here. Hopefully you're having a good time with with, with me. So. That said, all I'm out. You have a good rest of your, what is it, Wednesday? Have a good Wednesday. Hump day. Happy hump day. And I will see you tomorrow. Um, bye. Have a good one. Bye.